Okay, hello. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's only Oracle here today with a pick a card reading. So today we're talking about rewards that are coming your way in the next 30 days. I have four piles here. Pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Select which one you feel called to. Feel free to watch more than one. And then when you're ready, you can jump to the timestamp in the description box and I will see you at your reading. Bye. Okay, hello pile one. If you chose this image of balloons, then this is going to be your reading. So I'm not getting much with these images because they're just meant to be a celebration because we have rewards coming your way. We're gonna look at our angel card here to see. Okay, notice the signs for what is coming your way. Interesting. Okay, so I feel like Pile number one, um, the reward coming your way is a connection to spirit. You're going to be seeing signs and synchronicities relating to, I feel, a desire of yours coming true. So if you see things, and I know it'll be symbolic based on you. So for instance, um, I'm being drawn to Moana and there's a there's the part in Moana where her grandma says if she gets, uh, you know, when she dies, she wants to be reincarnated as like a what is it, the, I'm totally blanking on what it is, like a stingray or whatever, the the flying stingray. And the and so she, um, later on when Moana is during her journey, you know, she's getting really rough, she sees the stingray and it like lights up and it's basically the grandma's spirit. So it feels like you're getting signs from spirit from maybe past loved ones in the next 30 days that let you know that they're with you, they're assisting you on your journey, that you can do this. It does feel a lot like signs. You're gonna be seeing signs. Sorry, that was my phone, um, which also I feel like it's going off. So Okay, so what else for pile number one? It feels like you're right, you're very close. So pile number one, while you might not see your reward of what you're looking for like a manifestation in the next 30 days it feels like there you're going to get the almost the key or the courage to keep going towards it that's what i feel like yeah there's a strong idea of getting messages um even work out for text messages that might have more meaning into it i'm not saying read into every text but say you feel like pumpkins are a sign um look out for a message that talks about pumpkins. You know what I mean? That would give some indication for something, somewhere you should go, something you should do. It also feels like if you don't have something that feels synchronistic to you, for instance, like maybe the number 1212 or 222 or 333, 444, whatever it may be. If you don't have anything that feels significant to you, designate something like today, designate something. So for instance, say, um, if I need to understand a message, please send it, you know, at the time 1212, like, let me see 1212, or let me see 1212 repeating, and I'll know you have a message for me. Or, you know, if you want to send me a message spirit, you know, please send it through the form of a deer. When I see deer, let me know that this um, means to either focus on what I'm thinking or to pay attention to my surroundings, you know, basically, you can delegate something or you can, you can assign something to what you would like to be your sign. Even a feather, you say, you know, drop me white feathers and that will be symbolic to me. You know, show me butterflies and that will be symbolic to me. Um, I would definitely make it something that you can actually find. But even if you make it rare, yeah, here's Spirit saying, even if you make it rare, we'd still find a way to get the message. So for instance, maybe it is 
uh, daisies, but daisies don't grow. I don't know where you're at right now. And then you watch a TV show and the like guy protagonist brings a thing of daisies. That's like something to pay attention to. So it does feel like signs are your reward. Yeah. Okay. So it feels like this is a message meant to boost you emotionally to keep going towards expansion. That's what I feel spirit is trying to do. Spirit is trying to boost you to keep going towards expanding towards whatever you would like to do. Um, let me listen here. Yeah, see, even the sign, the notice the sign says, we drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. So if you're feeling lonely with that get with the three of cups or you're feeling left out or you're feeling like things aren't flowing, look for signs because spirit will drop them to you to let you know that they're with you. That is your reward the next um, 30 days. Likewise, I also feel there are a lot of signs with the 12th house here in your dreams or revolving around water. Um, in general, I feel the natural world for sure. So parks, uh, uh, beaches, ponds, things like that. But especially also, yeah, water in your dreams because 12th house rules Pisces and that is a water sign. We have water here and we have air with the, and we even have the cups here. So it feels like they might also get you messages in the shower. So let's see, this isn't the right deck for this, but let's see, what is this message pertaining to? It does feel like letting you know that either a past loved one is all right. Oh, okay. I'm getting something with this devil card. Let's see here. Yeah, I also feel like with this devil card, um, it's to get you out of also a, and six of cups in reverse. With the devil card, I feel this the reward is it's also to get you out of maybe a rut or get you out of feeling like you're stuck or feeling trapped. I get, because I'm being drawn to the little guy here in the devil card, you know, you see this devil and he's beautiful. And I've actually never noticed that there's a little person here, like with their hand over their ears, over their head, trying not to listen to it. And it feels like so... If you feel tempted by bad things or like you feel like you have are having negative thoughts pile number one, look for signs around you. So it really does feel like visibly or even in your dreams, you're going to see signs. Um, and those are kind of your reassurance that the good is still there in some ways. You know what I mean? Like angels are still watching. Your spirit guides are still with you, even though things are tough or you're being tempted by negative things or dark thoughts or, um, you know, feeling not good enough or feeling like you can't do it or feeling overwhelmed or whatever negative feelings you're having. It's like that there. Um, your spirit team is right there with you. So for every, I feel like for every temptation that is sent your way, there's also a, almost like a reward or a blessing. There's like a, there is a defense from spirit. So for everything that feels like a blockage or feels like there's something negative, spirit is right there too as you are going through that. Yeah, that's very big during the next 30 days. So you are not alone. That's what I feel strongly. You're not alone. Your spirit guides, your past ancestors, um, grandpas, grandmas, you know, your your angels there with you throughout this time once again we have a three yeah and the three of cups at the bottom which you have here i feel like the reward is also a sense of community and i feel um it's you're going to be feeling your spirit team strong so it feels actually like the community is less less physical although you could be working with people but it's like the support you're getting or the rewards you're going to see is your connection with spirit showing you things. I also feel like it's going to show you things when it comes to people you work with or people um, maybe who don't have the best intentions for you. Um, in the terms of this devil, it seems like he's offering his hand, you know? So people may offer you their hand. Yeah, oh, I'm getting my head hurts. People may offer you their hand pile one in kind of a false assistance in the next 30 days or even friendships, like they're not good friendships, but spirit's almost steering you away. Like you will get signs. Pay attention to the signs. I really feel like that. Pay attention to the signs the next 30 days. Um, be sure to really, it feels also like slow down the next 30 days. This is really not the time to race ahead because there's some type of expansion. There's some type of upgrade or um, change going on with you internally. And so you really just want to, it feels like take it slow, like just look around you. I feel this is also very sensory. They're sending you messages in the 3D through certain sights, through certain sounds, there's certain um, feelings and touches, even, even subconsciously, you know, or spiritually, they are also sending you messages. So your dreams as well. Yeah. Okay. It does feel like also the reward is avoiding a bad offer. I feel like there is something here with work or working with someone or even it's like working with someone or having even buying something like there's something to do with either your finances or career or something revolving around your monetary ability to gain something um 
And this could even be your talent as well. Your talent, your talent in something. Um, there could be an offer that is just, it's, it's enticing, but not, if it makes you overthink, I think you should wonder why you're overthinking. You know what I'm saying? Like if it makes you overthink, maybe that's not the right, um, offer for you. Yeah, it feels like they're really sending you answers, pal, pal one. Um, let's see if there's anything else Spirit wants you to know. With this, conclusions are within reach. If things feel hazy or confusing or you don't feel like you know where you're going or you feel like you can't trust your intuition or what's going on, slow down and let... And I know this is the moon card because my moon... Yeah, uh, this is the moon. And yeah, there's like there's going to be things revealed to you. Definitely through... Definitely through your sleep... Also meditation, the unseen, like praying, They're, you're going to get, if you ask for answers, you're going to get them these next 30 days. That's your reward. Yeah. There is some energy here, pal one, that I want to say is kind of working against you. And it feels like with this three cups, there is someone working against you. Now, I'm not calling that on you or saying, you know, you got like all these people that are against you but it does feel like there's someone you don't know is an enemy and I'm not saying they're an enemy where you need to attack them again it could be something small where they're just selfish and they're in very low vibrations but it does feel like a hidden enemy somewhere because 12th house also talks about our hidden enemies the enemies we don't know we have and I feel like there's someone who it's like I don't want to it almost does feel like they do in fact have it out for you but they also just don't have your best interest at heart um and that's going to be shown to you that's what I feel like is coming here you're going to be shown that oh you know, that person didn't have my best interest at heart. Good thing I didn't go that way. You know, good thing I stepped away from that project or from um, working with that person or from, you know, buying their products. Say if it's like you're a fan of someone. Yeah, someone is not presenting correctly, but you're going to be able to see through it in the next 30 days. So don't worry about anything that you're stressing about now. I say pile number one ask for signs through something or if you already know you already are pretty good connection with your spirit team then you know the kind of signs that they send you through certain things um but do pay attention to animals do pay attention to when you're around water and even work but spirit is sending you a message in this next 30 days i'm sorry i don't know the final outcome of the message but spirit is let me just see here spirit is going to be sending you messages to help you understand the truth. I feel like it's the truth of a situation. We're going to send you the truth of a situation. Notice the signs. We're going to let you know what's really going on. And that way you can, um, you know, stop kind of stressing about it, Stop overthinking. Like you'll know if someone's intentions for you are good or bad. Yeah. Just be patient for the next 30 days. Um, and I, I just feel like wait it out. Yeah. I also hear don't make any, don't make any drastic, um, choices. Okay, I hear don't make any drastic choices because emotionally you feel tempted. That may be something too, where emotionally they tempt you or they stir something in you. And um, hmm, it's almost like they're going to, they could damage, they could, they're, see, this is the thing. I'm being drawn to the Ace of Cups here. It's like, for some of them, they could be helping you. This could be a new start for you. So it's not 100% like, oh, for everyone, this is an enemy. It's like, you have to wait for things to be revealed. That's what I feel like. Let me, I'm still stuck on this devil card though. So give me a second. Yeah, I hear don't, I, what I'm really being drawn to because this devil is so attractive is like, don't trust your eyes. Um, you have to trust your intuition and the signs and pay attention, but do like in terms of your eyes, do pay attention to the signs that you see, but trust at the end of the day, your intuition. Yeah, that's what's going to lead you through kind of this dark wooded area. And if you feel like, whoever these people are or whoever this, whatever this thing is actually has something to offer you or are you offering them something? You know what I mean? It's kind of this equivalent exchange idea, but yeah, am I seeing anything else? Yeah. Don't worry, pile number one. Um, if you're sensing something is off or you feel like you can't trust someone or you don't know whether you can trust someone, you don't know whether someone is good or bad, um, what their intentions are, just give it time. Time will, t time will reveal it to you. Spirit's going to give you the answer. So just don't make, I feel like there's this idea of don't make any major decisions right now. This is not the time in the next 30 days to make major decisions, but expect that you will get answers. And from there you can make those decisions. Yep. So that's what I'm seeing for you, pile number one. I hope you enjoyed this reading. This reward is kind of interesting. It is very spiritual. Um, like your, your team is definitely with you, I feel like. So do not be afraid of this coming in. It's just, I think this is just a nice, 
reiteration for you if you were confused and you kind of want to jump to something or you just aren't sure what to do next in terms of expanding and where you want to go slow down take a step back you know kind of really feels like observe and you're going to get your answers okay so if you enjoyed comment down below and be sure to give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one pile number one bye Okay, hello, Pile 2. If you picked this image, then this is going to be your reading. So for this pile, I actually got that there's some sort of celebration coming in in the next 30 days for your reward. But we're going to take a look at what reward. I feel like it's this one. Oop, and this one. Yeah. And this one. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. So my pile number twos. Your the next 30 days are going to be, I hear, really fun. Expect that your reward, let's, let's take it from the beginning. So I feel like you have been blocked for a while now with this heart chakra coming out in reverse. Um, you have been, I just get the sense of you've been really, even if you've gone out or no matter what you've done, you've, I feel held, played cards close to your chest. You know what I'm saying? You haven't really been putting yourself out there in certain senses because you've been protecting your heart. Um, and... I feel like this is actually a good thing with the way it's next to reward yourself that spirit wanted you to do this because it's almost like your heart is innocent pile two you have a very loving yeah look at this wheel of fortune upright and knight of cups anyway you have a very loving and giving heart you love people i feel unconditionally which is why to put yourself out there with people who cannot reciprocate on that level can lead to a lot of heartbreak and pain for you and so it's important that you kind of vet people before you let them in because you're going to love them very well you know what I'm saying but I feel you've done that you really listened to yeah knight of cups again very romantic uh, you really listened I feel to spirit and just guides in general I feel like you've listened to your you've listened to your heart like you listen to your heart in terms of protecting it and because I'm being drawn to the shell and listening to the ocean sounds in it you know you've um feels like you've really listened to yourself too. There's this idea of you, you've been a good listener. You've paid attention. You, you know, you've passed your tests and stuff. And so at this point, it's kind of like, okay, now is your reward. You know, we had to go through some things that maybe weren't so fun, but right now you're going to have a lot of good time. So it does feel like, I did feel like there's a party you're going to be going to, and you could be meeting a new partner. Um, some of you, I feel like with this new partner and the horse there, some of you could actually be getting a pet in the next 30 days or a kindred spirit in the terms of pet. Maybe a stray comes up to you. Um, but it's like there's this idea of you getting partnership. And it does, it can be romantic, I feel, for some of you. So it's like, yes, it can be romantic. But for others of you, it is an animal, or it could be just a friendship or a collaborative work partnership. It really is varying, but you're going to have someone coming in, I feel like, or an animal, some sort of presence coming in who is going to be able to, I feel like, protect you and reciprocate what you can give. So it feels like this new partner, even if it is romantic and this isn't like your future spouse or someone long-term, it's someone who can, it's almost like show you what you are able to get if you if you raise your standards in some way. So it's, it's kind of like, you know, if you've ever been on dates with people who maybe, I don't know, they never pay or they're just always rude or they just, they're not very nice people. And so that's just all you know, but you're loving. So you think that's how it is. And finally you start raising your standards and then you go on dates with people who are like willing to pay for you. Not that anyone has to pay for anyone, but it's just the idea, you know, they're willing to treat you really well or they'll hold the door open for you. Or, you know, for my gentleman, like the lady, she will maybe want to split the check. And normally you're used to women just expecting you to pay, you know? So there's this idea of meeting someone who is on caliber with you in a sense of they're not, trying to take this is not you're going to meet someone who's not trying to take advantage of people the way that you have experienced previously that's so cool so you're definitely um either dating or it, again it can be an animal i'm not feeling it's solely romantic but it could be romantic but this is just someone who's really going to meet you on your level and i do feel like they are protective of you animal or not you know whoever this is they are going to view you as it's, it's um, a little more helpless. Like they're gonna view you kind of like a child where, but it's not in the bad way where they're gonna treat you childlike, but it's more so they want to take care of you or they want to help you get where you want to go. So this could even be a mentor. Um, it could be really anything in terms of a person, but you are, I feel like you'll kind of know when meeting them. 
but they will also extend, I feel like they're going to extend a hand of help to you. So it says here, I want to read the card for new partner. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by a sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So if you feel good around someone, it feels like trusting your feelings because you've learned discernment, you've gone through crap experiences, you know what those signs are. And so you can tell when someone is going to be good for you. Yeah, you have, whoa, okay. Yeah. Okay. Pile number, pile number two, you know, good energy. You're very, I'm being drawn to the, ooh, holy smokes. You get these, these dropped out. Okay. Let's talk about this. This is intense. This is extreme. You have really passed a spiritual test pile too. Congratulations. That is your reward the next 30 days. Now let's talk about these cards in alignment because I did have these fall out after. We have the Six of Pentacles here, which is about generosity. This is someone who normally gives more than they take, who can assist, who um, even with the Libra scale here, even in their attempt to give, they are balanced. You know what I mean? They're not giving so much because they are expecting someone to be something to them. But at the same time, they're not taking unnecessarily from people who maybe aren't able to or, you know, don't have the same capacity as them. And this is the world. Like this is who, these are the type of people you're attracting now. These are the type of people you're looking for. I'm being drawn to Taurus, people who are stable, people who have their finances maybe together, people who have their life together. Um, and even animal wise, like you said, if this is an animal coming in, it's like, this is, uh, um, this is kind of like your kindred spirit in terms of what you've experienced with people. You know what I mean? Cause it could be an animal, it could be a person, but it could be a mentor. Again, there's just people coming and specifically a person coming in who is here to help you. And this is the help that you need because you are now protected after understanding how important it is to protect yourself, like your heart and your goodness, because you have so much of it. So this is your before here. You used to just, you, you now know what bad energy is like you know when someone is not vibing right you know when someone is sneaky you know when people are manipulative and lying and so this also feels like you can trust yourself a little more to enjoy the good but you know when people are i also hear chaotic like chaotic not good energy for you you're aware you know when people are going to even i feel like try and pull one over on you you have a sense of that and so you can trust yourself if you find yourself connecting with someone new let's see what else here yeah you will recognize them by sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Yeah, you know. You know what the heck is up. Pile number two. Wow, I love this energy. With this Eight of Cups here, you know when someone is playing you. Like, you know when it's a false foundation, I feel like. I'm being drawn to these cups and how they can be so easily knocked over. Like, you just knock a hand and all those cups come flying down. You know when something is not a good offer or something is not good for you emotionally and you know to walk away from it. Like, you're not even gonna see her face here with the Eight of Cups. She's not, she's walking away from it. Typically, the Eight of Cups, we see the back of a man in the Rider Waite Tarot. We see the back of a man and the cups are, um, you know, in the front, they're the forefront as in he's walking. Um, but for this deck, she is in front, right? And the cups are behind her. So you're past that point. You're past walking away from things that aren't good for you. Like, you know that. You know what's up. And, um, yeah, I feel like the Seven of Wands, you know. You know when it's, I feel like you know when to fight and when to walk away. That's also something else I'm getting here. Like, you, you may get anxious and, like, not know if you can trust yourself. But I feel like you have a very good judgment now when to fight like when to stand your ground for something and when it's not worth it because you know these people aren't going to listen it's kind of like when you're talking to someone who just keeps raising their voice and raising their voice and raising their voice and you're like okay I can't get a word and like I'm not even you kind of shut down which is what people do because it's like you're not you're not going to convince this person of what you want or you're not going to be able to reason with them in some senses so it's not worth you it's not worth damaging yourself for i feel like you understand when those type of people come into your life you can be generous but your generosity now has limits and so the reward is you really are you're going to meet something yeah they're like you're going to meet someone a pet a person in the next 30 days who is good for you that's right here who's good for you whether that is romantically whether that is friendship or it is you know career wise or a pet there's someone there's someone you're supposed to meet or some animal or something you're supposed to meet that is going to be good for you that's your reward for the next 30 days anything else spirit anything else oh yeah you see you've really done the work this is the end of a very tough cycle congratulations pile number two you should be very proud yeah um see we even have a new romantic cycle again prosperity light look at this holy smokes these fell out together and i was just gonna read them to see but 
they're relevant. So we have, have faith in your dreams. So have faith that you can get what you want, especially this may be a mentor. Like I said, you are good enough as in you do have the talent. You do have the beauty. You do have everything. I feel like you have the beauty too. This is Virgo and Taurus. And Virgo is very perfectionistic. It rules Mercury, but it's more next to Gemini. I would say it's the, it's the more logical, rational side of um, communication. And Taurus here rules Venus and Venus is all about beauty and love. And so even with how beautiful this person is and the stability, it feels like you have everything in alignment. So trust yourself, pile two, with whatever you're going or, or whatever you see because you're more than likely right. Um, so yeah, this is a whole different ball game. You are done with that old stuff. You're done giving to situations that don't give back to you. And your reward coming is someone who is willing to give back to you. Someone who's going to be a either above you or on equal footing with you. But it does feel like a lot of you, they're above you in some way. So whether they have more finances than you or they're further along in the career you want to be in, or, you know, um, as a partner, they maybe have more experience or they're very protective. You know, it does feel like there's a protective energy to whatever's coming in towards you. But this is a new cycle of balance. Balance, straight up balance like you're getting equal partnerships I know rejoice 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 and it does feel like this is also a domino effect pile two where the this person you're meeting is the beginning of people you're going to meet similar to them so for instance you're at this party and it's great and you talk to this mom who maybe she runs a um, a cupcake business and you're like, oh my gosh, I've wanted to be a baker. So you connect with her, but then she has a friend, you know what I mean? Who's into financial stuff that you really need help on. You're like, oh my gosh, I needed that too. And so you're getting like all this help and all these good relationships with people who are at your level or higher. And so it's really going to elevate you away from this really negative, chaotic energy that you've dealt with in the past. Like you finished that cycle. You completed your, the end of a tough cycle approach. You've done it, you've gone through it, and you're still loving, you're still kind, you're just more discerning. That is the only difference here between who you were and who you are now. And so reward yourself with having a good time, trusting yourself, and enjoying. I feel like there's the next 30 days is about enjoyment for you. Rejoice in it. Prosperity lies ahead. You are moving. I feel also with the green here at the center, you are moving on to greener passages. And I feel like because with the purple here on the outside, you are being surrounded, you know, purple rep represents regality, royalty. There are people who are higher up who are helping you with your heart, with your love, because green is also the heart chakra. They're going to help you to elevate. You are on your way up pile two. I am so excited for you. This reading is amazing. I can just see you are on like this new cycle that is going to elevate your life. I feel in ways you can scarcely even dream of. You are really about to elevate. You are any child. It feels like also childhood dreams will be coming true in a way, whether that's you've wanted love or you've wanted, you know, um, just to have your work appreciated or you've wanted to make connections that felt genuine. Expect that to come your way. Wow. Congratulations, Paul, too. Congratulations. I love this for you. I'm so excited to see who you meet in the next 30 days. But yeah, no, this is, yeah, the next 30 days, it's coming for you. And um, yeah, enjoy the connections. Trust yourself. You are good enough. With this coming out, I feel like you do have a tendency to doubt with your heart because you're so kind if you're good enough for what's going to happen or for partners or for work or for things. But you are good enough and you are deserving of what's coming because you really have, I'm being drawn to the five of wands, dealt with crap. So don't. I feel like with your energy, I'm also being drawn to the five of ones pile number two. Don't fight yourself on this. Um, it feels like trust your heart. Like your heart's not going to lie to you now. It's it, it's smarter, right? Like it's been through crap. It's smarter now. It knows what's up. So trust yourself to be able to discern good from bad character. And um, yeah, in, enjoy this new chapter of your life, pile two. That's all I'm seeing for you. Um, so comment down below if you enjoyed this reading. I'm excited for you. I know I've said that like 10 times, but I really am. Be sure to give this a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one, pile two. Bye. Okay, hello, pile number three. If you chose this image of balloons, then this is going to be your reading. So with this image, I am getting that your next 30 days may... I just came from pile two, um, and it was a lot going on. But for you, I feel like these next 30 days are kind of calm. There's not going to be too much out of the ordinary, I don't think. But let's see what spirit has to say here. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so we have entrepreneur and be honest with yourself. Okay, so for, this does feel career related for your next 30 days, which I was getting because I was getting Virgo energy where it's your day-to-day -day routines, your habits. It feels like you are taking the next step. That's what I feel like you're taking the next step or you are deciding that this next step isn't for you. So depending on where you're at, whether you work from somewhere else, for someone else or you work for yourself. If you work for yourself, I do feel more of this energy of you saying, um, 
you're trying to take a next step in some way. So if you work for yourself, it's either saying I need to work less, you know, I'm working too much, or I want to add this new thing to my business. I want to add a new product to my business, or I want to add a new service to my business, or I want to add something. Or it could be, again, could be I need more breaks. We need to, I want this to look a little different. Maybe I need to outsource and hire some help. But I think this idea of um, knowing that next step is based on honesty with yourself. Now, if you work for someone else, this may be the idea of you're finding, mm, I really don't want to work for someone else, you know, or I want to have more time or I want things to be different. And so it feels like you're, it feels like this is the next step. Like you're starting something you're incorporating because I am just being strongly drawn to Virgo when it comes to day to day routines, habits, diet, lifestyle, where you decide that, you know what, I do want something to be a certain way. So I have to start like I have to make the baby steps. So even if I have a full time job, you know, I have to maybe I have to take a class in the evenings or maybe I just need to be on YouTube. I'm also being drawn to fitness as well because Virgo rules your health and your habits, but it does feel like a new habit coming in. So it feels like you're forming a new habit in the next 30 days that could serve you very well long term. But likewise, even the entrepreneur and diet, maybe you're deciding to clean up your diet or it's the idea of facing yourself and then deciding I need to make a change and implementing that change. That's what I really feel like this nexus reward in the next 30 days for you is. Uh, yeah, admit the truth to yourself. That's what I feel like. And then you're going to make changes. Okay, yeah, definitely work and life related. Yeah, there's something new coming on. Ooh, this is so exciting. Okay. So as I was saying, a lot of you ha have had an idea or um, kind of an inkling in your mind of something that is or isn't working for you. That's why I feel like it's very strong here. For some of you, it's something that is working and you want more of. For instance, like you're having a lot of business and you want more business. So you're looking to add something in or likewise, you know, you're working for someone and you don't like it. It isn't working for you. You're trying to find a way out of this and you want to work for yourself or you want to do something else financially to free yourself. Maybe you want to look at multiple income streams, but you, it's this idea of, um, also as entrepreneur, it's freedom. Like there should be freedom to what you're doing. And it feels like you're trying to balance that right now. And so you need to be honest with yourself as to, I feel like what you want your, you need to be honest with yourself what you want your life to look like. What do I want my life to look like? Do I want, as an entrepreneur, do I want to be working 12, 14 hour days? Is that for me? Maybe that's not for me. Okay. Then I need to look at something else. Um, do I want to move up in this company or do I want to look somewhere else? Do I want to have more time to spend with my family? Do I want to find passive income? You know what I'm saying? What do I want the daily habits of my life to look like to kind of get to my dreams? And if I do have a dream that I haven't pursued, what is the step I can take now in the next 30 days to start that dream? Yeah, so for instance, maybe you have, have had a dream of going to Europe, of traveling for a living, but you didn't, you know, you've seen travel bloggers, but you didn't think you could do it, or you work at a stifling nine to five, and you're like, but I really just wanna be one of those people who travels around Europe, you know, and documents it. Then what do you need for that to happen? You know, I think I need a camera. You know, I have to have maybe six months funds. I need to plan it out. It's this idea of doing research or getting it together to make something new happen. There's a wish that you have that I feel spirit is saying you can make happen. This isn't pile three. This isn't something that's going to fall out of the sky for you, unfortunately. It's something you have to do, like you have to put in the work for. Even with the ace and two of pentacles, you have to take the logical steps to get there. Spirit's going to be with you. Spirit is going to assist you, but ultimately it is your work. It is you doing it. You cannot wait for it to happen to you. And that's what I feel like is really being, um, being honest with yourself. Like, have I been waiting for something to happen to me rather than take action? And if I have, that's okay. You know, that maybe needed to be for that point in time. But at this point in time, it's not serving me anymore. What can I do to get closer to the life I want? That's what I feel with this nine of cups. What can I do to get my dreams to become reality? That's so cool. So this is, um, this is a beginning. These next 30 days are a beginning for you. Pile number three. I feel it's this one. Yeah. You see a time to give rather than take. Um, you're going to be giving your energy towards something. Interesting. This new thing you want to balance in your life. Um, and once again, we do have Virgo here. And I told you I was getting Virgo energy here because the thing about successful people, pile three, or people who have their dream life is that regardless of who it is, they had, they did have to go through trials and errors. Like no one gets, no one, no one, no one gets to success. Literally no one. Personal success. Now I'm not saying like your family didn't give you money, which in which case they went through, you know, trials to get there, but no one gets to success as a breeze, you know, it, it's very rare that something drops out of the sky and you just win the lottery. Oh my gosh. But even people who say win the lottery, um, oftentimes think about their stories. If you read their stories of their life, their life is generally not 
it's not like it's happy. You know, there's a reason they were playing the lottery. You know what I mean? It's not like their life was great and they just won the lottery. There's normally a lot going on. So um, what I want to say here, Pile 3, is that you realize that you, I think you're realizing I have to actually do the work. Like I have to give time to it. I have to give effort to it. It's not going to fall out of the sky. It's not just going to happen on its own. I have to actually walk. It's kind of like you want to win a, win a race, but you're not willing to run. If you're not willing to run, you're not going to win the race. And the reward coming is you being like, okay, I'm, I want to run the race. Like I don't just want to, I don't want to just talk about it. I want to be about it. And so because of that, you are starting the journey. You really are. And you're going to learn, I feel with Virgo here, in the next 30 days that it's your habits that are making or breaking you right now. So if you get off of work and you watch Netflix for two hours, I'm not saying cut out Netflix entirely, but maybe cut down to an hour of Netflix. And then otherwise, when you're not watching Netflix for the hour, use an hour to study on this new subject or this new way of living, even researching how can I live the way I want to live. I also feel like there's this idea of researching how can I do what I want to do. So if I do want to be a travel blogger, how do you make that happen? What are the steps one, people who have already succeeded, what are the steps they took to get there? Because I promise you on YouTube or anywhere, there's someone who has um, documented their story to success and will tell you their way of doing it. And then you can compare it to other people's. And I'm sure if you do that by watching multiple success stories and what you want to do, you're going to start to see patterns and trends of similar things that each person had to do. When you piece those together, you'll understand what you need to do to make it happen. And you'll start adding that, implementing it into your daily life. This is so fun. I love this. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. We had a card drop out here and it is the world it came in reverse, but I'm going to read it upright. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I do feel a lot of you do with this world card. You want to travel. You want a different lifestyle. But yeah, challenge found out. It's not easy to get there. Travel lifestyle bloggers or, you know, traveling the world and doing that. It's a, there are sacrifices that have to be made to get to that point. So for a travel blogger, for instance, say they said, Say the, this is just an example, you know, it could be whatever you're trying to look for. Maybe it's just more money, you know, whatever, apply it to your situation. But in the case of the world and the square here, for instance, you want to be a travel blogger and you want to figure out how to make that happen. Well, a lot of them are saying we saved up six months worth of income to make sure we would have enough money when we traveled around in Europe to do what we wanted to do. We had a Canon camera, you know, we had a very expensive camera to make sure we're documenting it. We were making sure we already had a platform maybe of 10,000 followers. And so then it's like, okay, I know that I need to have a camera. I need to already have a, some sort of following, right? 10,000, 20,000, whatever it may be. And I need to have six months worth of income. Those are easy goals to break down smaller to make happen. So you know, okay, I need to save $10 a week for the next year to make this happen or whatever it may be, you know, or I need to invest $10 a week to make sure I can make this happen. I need to um, look at another side hustle maybe to bring in income to buy the camera. I need to start posting videos or something about my life now or to draw interest into me so that way when I wanna go do this thing, I have the following to make it happen and to be sponsored. There's this idea of understanding the steps, understanding that it's not going to be easy. There's going to be drawbacks there's going to be setbacks for anyone even people who start on youtube and become famous youtubers i mean i'm not even a big you i'm very small as we know but even for my personal journey which you guys don't see too much i mean i, I post about it a little bit but there have been audio issues. There's been times where I've lost work entirely. It's not easy. There's always drawbacks. It's just working through those is what makes someone, that's the difference between someone who fails and succeeds because someone who gives up, they're not going to see the fruit of it. But if you keep going, the entrepreneur, you keep going, that's when you see success. Um, there are rough moments in everyone's journey. It's how we work through those. It's how we work through the challenges that really dis um, discern who is getting success and who isn't. Because like I love to say, if you Never give up. You are either going to die trying or you will succeed. <laughs> um, so we have the chariot. Yeah, this is the idea of movement, traveling. Maybe you really want to travel and you have an intuition about it. Yeah, the fool. You want this new kind of life, I feel, that's different from what you've had. It also feels like a different foundation about money or home or work. There's this idea of career being different. And so because this is about reward, pile number three, your reward in the next 30 days is finding new ways to implement stuff in. Um, either a course in or online videos in or a plan in to make the dream happen. And I think with this high priestess, I'm feeling you've known this, you've known there's a way to get there. You just didn't um, do the research on how, and now you're going to start doing that research. So there is this idea of movement being heavy here, really actually taking concrete steps, 
you know, researching something is a concrete step. You can look at your search history and say, okay, I've researched, you know? Um, and I feel this idea of don't underestimate research or don't underestimate planning and not overly planning where you never take action, but the idea of I want something, I don't know how to get there. Let me look at how other people who have gotten there have done it. Let me figure out how I, what my plan is to get there. And then as you're along that plan, of course, you're going to run into challenges. It's going to be difficult at first. You've never done this before, you know? And so you be gentle with yourself. You give yourself time to work through the challenges and you will get there. I feel this idea of you will get where you want to go. And you are... So you're giving your time, your energy, your effort to make it happen and you're going to reap the rewards. I mean, the best thing you can really give to your something is always your time and attention. If you give something time and attention, you will see that you can make it flourish in many different ways. So yeah, that is your reward the next 30 days. It's this new work-life balance, this new change in how you're viewing work and what you want to happen. And then taking the logical, concrete action steps despite challenges and setbacks and drawbacks and confusion and not knowing to be honest with yourself and get where you want to go. This is so exciting. This is a new chapter for you because you and pile three, you know, for you, it feels less like it's a whole new chapter, but more that it's an adjustment where it's kind of one of those things where you implement things over time. It's almost like fitness. You implement working out once a day, you know, for an hour a day, five days a week. And then you look back six months later and you're like, holy crap, look at the progress I made. You know what I mean? Look at how much more I can do now flex flexibility wise, or maybe strength wise, or maybe even just my body wise. Look at how much uh, I can, I've changed and I'm able to do. So expect a change in your life that is implemented through your daily routines and habits. Changing a habit is going to change your life. And that's what's coming on here. That is all I have for you, pile number three. If you enjoyed this reading, comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, hello, pile number four. If you picked this image, then this is going to be your reading. So I have actually no idea what's going on here, so we're going to consult spirit. Sometimes the images give me something, and sometimes they don't. In this particular case, I'm not getting a lot, so let's see. All right, rewards in the next 30 days. Interesting. Okay. Um... So some of you may go to a wedding. I am getting that. You may go to a wedding. Um, you may travel for a wedding and that could be a really fun reward. I also feel like some of you may be leaving a commitment or a relationship. It feels like a commitment with the wedding card, a commitment that you made that you realize is not what you thought it was. And you're like, I am out. Like I see, you know, running from this wedding or running from a toxic relationship and that is your reward. So it could be, you know, I'm re weirdly getting, you know how you go on a first date with someone and when, and maybe you're just looking to have a good time, but this person is talking about marriage and you're just like, Ooh, like, Ooh, I'm going to go like, you know, good luck. Good luck out there. But I am not looking for a wife right now, or you are clearly looking to fill some type of void in you. And I'm not dealing with that. So it feels like you leaving again, a commitment or something that it doesn't feel like for some of you, it is serious, but it feels less serious. Like it, it was something new and fresh that maybe you were starting, but you're finding you're like, Oh, that wasn't for me. Like I'm out, I'm dipping time to go. You know, I'm not, I'm not staying here for that. That is, uh, that's not for me. Even could be a new job that you leave a new, it's just something yeah, I get this wedding. It's like something that it's not something you've recently started or done or even dated or anything like that. But you are you're getting out of there because you're like, that is not the situation for me. Like, I honestly feel it is maybe even a date or a person where you're they're just giving red flags and you you just dip. You're you're, you're not you're not staying. You're not going to keep talking to them. Uh, but again, it could be a job. It could be. And I do get this idea of maybe going to a wedding and traveling for a wedding as well for some of you with someone. And it could even be that maybe you've just met someone who invites you to a wedding or in the next 30 days you go to a wedding as a friend or with someone, but then they try and make a move or something's weird and you just, you dip. You're like, yeah, that's not happening. So let's talk about rewards for the next 30 days for my pile number fours. Reward. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like, okay. We have the Six of Cups Upright, Page of Wands in Reverse, the Magician, and the Nine of Wands in Reverse. Okay, you know what else I am getting here? Pile number four. I'm also getting an ex coming back, someone you've had a previous commitment to, is may come back in, but you are, it's like you're wiser now. I get this with the Nine of Pentacles. I really get a sense of self-worth from this card, from the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Because I came in reverse and I was kind of like, what does that mean? And it's like, regardless, what Spirit was saying was regardless of your financial status or regardless of what, 
you know, people are perceiving you as being, you have self-worth. You have, you have developed self-worth. So pat yourself on the back for that. That is it. That's very good. And so when you're presented with options that are not at your caliber, you know what I mean? Do not align to your level of self-worth. You dip. You're like, yeah, that's good for you. You know, good for that person. That's not going to work for me. You don't commit to things that aren't in alignment with you, I feel. And you don't commit to things that do not see your worth. And so this could also, yes, be an ex coming back. And it's honestly kind of flattering, I feel like in some senses for you, because your self-worth is so high now. You're, you're, you don't, you're not tempted to go back. You're just like, oh, that's mm, like, mm, I'm dipping that because, um, I had this, I feel like this nine of wands is meant to be under the six of cups. It's like something from the past coming back up that maybe in the past you would have been tempted by, but it's like, you have such a, I also feel like you have a strong commitment to spirit. You have a stronger commitment to something larger than you that it is not, it is no big deal. I feel like this idea is no sweat off my back to literally disown anyone in the past who tries to play me or who tries to play with who I am. And so that's a reward coming in is it's, it's honestly this idea of pile number four of you seeing your growth, you seeing how different you are, because you're, you're going to think when the situation comes up again, a past situation that maybe you would have stayed in, or maybe you would have allowed to have control over your emotions or control over you or your sense of self-worth, you're seeing that your reactions are different or that who, how you feel inside is different. And so there's this sense of feeling is an inner fulfillment because you would have given it, yeah, with this page of wands, I feel like you would have given it a lot of your attention, a lot of your energy. Maybe you would have thought a lot about this person, you know, or you might have spiraled back into old stuff, but it feels like you're really past that. You're like, as above, so below. My higher self is on it. My spiritual team is with me. My ancestors is on it. God is with me. And so I'm good. You know, I'm good with you. Like you can, you're not for me. We're good. We're good. I, feel, I just feel this idea of you saying we're good. You know, I, we don't need this. I don't need you. Yeah. You're very aligned with your destiny. Oh, pile number four. Ooh, you are in for some. Oof, you're not for the even the next 30 days. I just feel this is a you've set a good foundation for your life. You're going to see it. What you have done spiritually, the work you have done spiritually, you're going to see reflected in the 3D. That's what I feel like. And you're and it's it's presented maybe in a series of not necessarily challenges, but situations of the past. It's kind of like a cycle here with the magician and the infinity sign there. It's presenting you with the same situations you had in the past, but you react so differently. You're like, ah, you thought, you know, I'm not who I was. That was that's that's the old me. I kind of hear that Taylor Swift. I don't even know what song it is or video, but it's the one where she's like, sorry, the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. She's dead. So not that your old you is dead, but in a sense it is. You're really on the path to your destiny. You might be trying to look to move or to travel with the page of wands in time to go, trying to get out. And yeah, but there is this idea of you running into the old and not having the same reactions you used to because you're just, you're not that person anymore. So we have nine of pentacles, which I'm going to take. Even seven of pentacles. So we had seven, eight, and knight of pentacles. Yeah, I feel if you don't have money yet, it does feel like you're coming into some money. And you're really, you've done long-term work that you're, it feels like your destiny, even with this eight of pentacles, your destiny is really coming together, pile number four. So the next 30 days, the next 30 days feel like they're a call to the past, but they're not, they're not really a call to the past because you're different. So how you handle every situation, you're going to, I feel like you're going to see and prove to yourself that you're different. And maybe you don't believe that, or I feel like you kind of do. You're like, yeah, I do know I'm different. Like I, I worked on this. I spent time on this. I've gone hermit mode. You know what I mean? I've, I've worked on my own discovery. Yeah. What do you need to release? It does feel like you are releasing things. You're going to release the past putting your energy towards things that it feels like putting your energy towards things that cannot put them back to you or cannot give you what you give them. You know, you're, um, you're viewing it. It feels like you're viewing with the page of wands, you're viewing things from a very different perspective now. And it feels also that you know, what needs to get done. You know, what needs to get done. And I also feel you are not afraid to do. You're not afraid to do what needs to get done. And you're not spending time with things that do not foster that. You are in path with your destiny. If you were confused or you were questioning it, especially with your career or your work or your finances, if you were wondering, am I on the right path to get to where I want to go? Spirit is like, yes, you are. You are on the right path. You're getting there. You are. And this, this sense of self-worth was almost like step one or or not step one, but it, in some sense is step one to getting your dream life, to manifesting your dream life. Okay, we have the five of cups here and the two of cups. Yeah, you you are not to be played with pile four. These old relationships, like any F boys, F girls, um, people who are just looking maybe for flings or people who you think are gonna be too clingy. You, when it comes to relationships, 
you have it together. Like you value yourself. And I think you even know what you want with the magician here. You're waiting for it to come to the 3D. Maybe you're one of those people who does do future spouse readings, but so you're not stressing any karmic, like you're, it feels like you're almost done with karmic cycles. They're going to come back to you, but because you're going to react differently, you're breaking the cycle because if, the only way the cycle works is if you keep doing the same thing. If you break the cycle or you react differently, you then shift the path and it is no longer the same cycle anymore. And so I feel that is what you're doing. Um, it feels like you've had your sad girl, like you've had your sad girl time. I'm here, being drawn to that song, save your tears for another day. Like don't, <laughs> but not, it's just kind of the player energy where it's like, don't even save your tears for someone else. Cause I'm not the one and I'm saving my tears for someone who I think deserves it. So you approach relationships completely differently. You approach, feels like you just approach your life differently because of this self-worth, your self-worth, knowing what you you deserve knowing what you can get out of life it's you you know that you can make your garden you know you can manifest it feels like you know you can change your reality to get what you want to get the life you want you have done you've gone through the learning curve and so the next 30 days it feels like even presented with old things what do you need to release um you're going to know what to do but i also feel like this what do you need to release is a callback to a warning that don't get overly fond of the past or what's been done just because it was feels like because some of these things some of these people may have been a good time or some of it may have been a good time yeah see don't let your past hold you back um there's also the warning that like someone who could come back or present themselves could seem great but the focus is on you like the focus is feels like the focus is on you and if they're not focusing on you they're really just not for you Focus on manifesting the dream life you want. And it feels this idea of don't settle for less. I mean, because don't let your past hold you back. Don't think you deserve less or you deserve something that is half of what you know you're capable of feeling or you're capable of achieving or capable of doing. Don't accept, it feels like don't accept halvesies. Like don't accept half ASS offers. Don't accept things that are only there. You're only starting. It feels like you're holding, hold yourself to a higher standard because you are at a higher standard now. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, especially with a partner. It's, it, they're saying, especially with wedding here and the union of two souls, especially with partnerships. Do not settle for half. Do not settle for, I mean, it's okay. It's fun. You know what I mean? You could be, it feels like spirit is saying you could be using that time to work on your finances or actually build the life you want. So don't waste time on okay. It's, it's what you want or it isn't. I feel like there's this all or nothing aspect here that isn't actually a bad thing. It's just kind of like, it's pushing you further towards what you actually want. You don't get kind of your destiny. You get your destiny. You know what I'm saying? So don't waste your time with kind of. Yeah, it really feels like do not waste your time with kind of or sort of there or ish. If there's any of that feeling or indication to you, it feels like spirit says leave, drop it. That's not for you. That's only kind of what you want. You don't, you don't want kind of. You're past that. You have more worth than that. Get what you want, not kind of what you want. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, even with this five of cups, I feel you are... It's almost like you don't deserve even the two leftover cups. You deserve all five cups. There's even the five of cups is showing me... Don't put your stuff into en energy into things just because... You know what I mean? You have you have two cups left. Like, yes, generally this is a card that talks about like focusing overly on loss when you still have two things standing, but it feels like for you, it's don't even settle for having two cups. You deserve all five cups. Don't even mourn. Why would you even mourn the cups that are gone? Why would you even worry about the two cups there? Go get your other cups, you know, go get everything you want. There's a go-getter energy here for not settling for less. That's really what I feel like the next 30 days are for you. And you are going to be presented with someone, someone who is interested in you or someone, um, or some sort, sort of situation similar to that where you're going to, it's going to require you to be like, no, I deserve more. Like in the past, I might've settled for that, or I might've wanted to help that, or I might've, you know, tried to be too kind and generous or loving and giving or nostalgic about it. Cause it reminds me of something, but, or it reminds me, it also feels like it reminds me of my parents' relationships or I recreated my parents' relationships or I recreated the relationship I have with my parents by seeking out people like them. But I'm past that. I'm not on that anymore. That's, that's a karmic stuff. Like I'm done with that. I move on to things that are actually good for me, good for me are what I want are in alignment with my self-worth and it does feel particularly my phone just rang that it is what you want you can get what you want for for not what is okay not what is well that's good enough or you know I, I really shouldn't ask no you can get what you want be a little more I am that you know b-i-t-c-h or I am that man trademarked because you can get exactly what you want so 
don't settle for less, I guess is the message in the next 30 days. And you're going to see that it's going to be really cool because it's, it, this is like a, a great time of manifestation of going towards your destiny of maturing to get to kind of blossom into what you want for life. But yeah, that is all I am seeing for you, pile number four. I love this reading. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And yeah, I'm excited to see what comes up for you, what you end up manifesting into your life by holding these high standards. And I will see you in the next one, pile four. Bye.